All right, folks, this is serious business time. In my break that I took between uh, video recording sessions, I've decided we're not going to wait. We're going to commit right now to attacking. That's right, folks. I know I have some troops over there in that city. We're going to throw everything at Chang'e now so that uh, when the next month rolls around, we'll have the gold from that heavily populated place and we're gonna fucking book it. We are just gonna flee right out of there. I don't care if the city lays fallow and empty. My objective is to take that damn city and then run my ass away. I know it sounds pretty cowardly, but I really don't have all of my forces with me right now. What I want to do is pilfer and loot that city. And we will do our damnedest to do so. We're going to be sending all of our troops here in Anding. Bobo the Vulture will be leading them, although he is not the best infantry commander out there in the world. Such is life. Kind of accompanying him shall be Arashi Tayama and Rogman Kao. Everybody else will sit and anding with bated breath. You will take all of my soldiers. I'm a soldiers. Yeah. 100 gold pieces. Take 1,500 barrels of food. Our military forces are equal. Old Dongi will be counterattacking in a field battle. Welcome everybody to the battle screen. That's right, folks. Now, as our uh, beloved advisor noted to us, our forces here are pretty much equal in this exchange. In this case, we are going to have to use proper strategy and tactics to gain the upper hand. We'll be doing this not by charging so carelessly at this mountain, but luring him down the mountainside. We don't want to stumble many traps. I'm not exactly sure what Zhu Rong is capable of doing or not doing. So I want to stay away from all of that. And we're going to do that by skillful maneuvering to get him down the mountainside. And we'll promptly proceed to move up the mountainside. Higher ground carries an advantage, as far as I know. And it should, right? Here we go. Prime positioning here. Alrighty. Beautiful troop numbers there. Now each each troop unit number thingy Mababa Doodle Jigger symbolizes uh, 100. So in this case, in that attack, he lost about 500 soldiers and I lost 200. Good showing for us, everybody. I will continue to maintain my uh, advantage and move back while he does. Good times, everybody. Good times. And you'll see how our superior training and superior tactics, as well as Bobo, are leading us to victory here, to the point where he's just deciding, fuck it, I'll just stand there. I pressed Y for some reason. Here we go. Here's a cooler layout. He has more gold at his disposal and more provisions. What I'm really hoping to do here is I'm hoping to actually capture... Zurong. Zurong is the only officer left in the city, so if I can capture him, I end the entire affair, and I can just take the city with uh, very few losses. I would love to lure him into a duel, however, I don't think he's going to be crazy enough to accept that. So instead, I will continue to press my uh, ground attack. I could charge, which is a stronger attack, but it always has a risk of you making you lose more units. And I won't be in that much of a hurry right now, until the very end. When he probably gets to around, like, uh, under 10 troops, that's when he'll probably uh, pursue uh, running away. Although we don't exactly have all the time in the world to dilly-dally. Let's go ahead and continue to crush his soul with the power of our mind. And I'm using my fast forward key to make this a bigger convenience. Where do you think you're going? Hey, you get back here. What are you, repositioning? I think he was repositioning to try and get a better advantage. I defy to you. Perhaps he's stalling for time. Okay, we're going to try it now. Charge. Come on, damn! Troop count was too high, but I didn't want him. I didn't want to risk losing him. Son of a bitch! No, I'll not reorganize my units. This is the second part of this. This is a castle battle. 
Field battles, then castle battles. He didn't exactly have any spare troops in order to reinforce himself. But still, I just wanted to take him out anyway. It would have made things a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and crush his soul now. We have to do this before the turn goes to 30, or... I forget what happens in Romance of the Three Kingdoms 4. Either I automatically lose, or the battle is stalled for a month. I don't want either circumstance to happen. I'd be, be pretty unfortunate. Dong Zui... Dongi would be more than likely to send reinforcements. So let's go ahead and, uh... I'm glad he wasn't able to send reinforcements now. Where do you think you're going? Hey! You coward. You're running away. I see what you're doing. Uh-huh. You tried to flee, but it didn't work. He tried to run. Now, his army did flee, but uh, I captured him. And I'll be okay with that. I didn't exactly capture the army's provisions either, but I captured the officer. And that's a nice concession. Look at you. Yeah, there's no way in hell he would have accepted a duel. Would you like to join me? I didn't think so. Now you have a few options here. You can try to recruit a guy. You can free him. You can set him in prison and hope that his will eventually breaks, and you can try to recruit him then. Or you can outright kill him. Zhu Rong didn't do anything but be a pain in my ass. But, you know, I would like, you know, officers of all sorts. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lock him away in jail. Neener, 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 neener. And there we go, folks. That was, a. Uh, we had just had a good vol. Indeed. Have a good vol. Let's go ahead and check out our newly acquired city here. That we will be abandoning very soon. Oh yeah, folks. Oh yeah. We may have not been able to take with us the provisions of the army there. Because the army was able to flee. With it a tiny smidgen of soldiers. But we, 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 we took the supplies of Chang'an. As you can see, there's quite a few supplies in Chang'an, and we are looking forward to taking more. Now remember, folks, <laughs> as soon as the month turns to January, fucking Bolton. I'm just gonna outright flee. If he wants to go back into the city, that's all fine and well. Actually, let's see what he shall be doing this turn. Maybe he already had his turn, I don't remember. Nope, he did not already have his turn, but he did elected not to do anything. That's good. Lord Master Repo, Zuzi has come to visit Andy. Will you meet him? Yes. I have a feeling I've seen Dong's. <laughs> useful knowledge is useful. Oh God. Yes, yes, the people are starting a revolt, and I don't care, because I'm about to abandon that place again. Now, you don't see uh, old Dongi here plotting an immediate grand fucking Imperial Wizard Assault right now. I don't actually know what office... I don't know what... Wait, what? Wait. 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 What? string. <laughs> so, I took Chang An. And good old Dongy here, uh, the most brilliant tactician in all of Chinese lore, decided to move all of his officers, with the exception of one, to Lo Yang. I don't think it's been torched by this time, but I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't think it has been, otherwise he wouldn't be in there. Leaving one officer, just one. There's no way he can mount a counterattack against me. He only has one officer there. Well, I think this actually just changed my plans. Yep. 
we're, we're going to abandon the city again. I definitely haven't changed my mind on that. We will head down to... I can head there, collect resources, and then head into there. Yeah! That's what we're gonna do. We are not going to abandon Chang'an then. We're going to go ahead and keep it. Yup. Sure am. Hmm. I'll go ahead and move Azuma Kazuma back. Uh, just, uh... Let's, let's not get too crazy here. Let's move everything. And, uh... Let's go ahead and actually move, uh, more forces. Now, we're going to be keeping the people that, uh, we recruited as spare officers in this city. But we're going to be moving everyone important, as in all the folks I created, along with us. So these two folks uh, shall be moving along. Go go ahead and bring... We'll keep 2,000 gold there. I think it's a good number. We have plenty of gold there in our capital. And 2,000 gold can be used for whatever. Whatever. We will take 500 provisions. We'll go ahead and take all of the soldiers. All of that. All of that, and all of that. We sure will move. Now, folks in this city who I want to move are still busy doing things. Like, he's still searching. Uh, city, rather. Here we go. He's still searching. And I'm not able to move him yet, since he already moved this turn. Who do we got here that we can move? Zurong's a prisoner, so we won't be moving anybody then. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, look at how much better Chang'an is compared to the city that we are currently in, Anding. Definitely a good move, although it obviously aggroed Dongi. But it didn't aggro him that much, because apparently he decided to move all of his officers away. Are you that concerned about, uh, Coco Puffs there? Coco Pebbles, he hasn't even moved into Zhu Chang. What are you doing? What are you doing, Dongi? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand you! <laughs> Whatever. I want to see a report. Report! We need more people to help with the work. Soon we'll have funds, we need to make more investments. Oh god. Yeah, that's a little report thing you could get just to, like, uh, test the temperature of what your officers and everything are doing. I guess that's cool. Let's go ahead and, uh, rearrange and reorganize all of this stuff. Since we've emptied out the officer count here. For the time being, we will assign these two just to this stuff. No. Go ahead and put a thousand gold pieces in that. And a thousand gold pieces in that. Done and done. Now let's go ahead and come over here, then. And work on developing this good old city we have here. Some more. Oh yeah, folks. Look at all that gold. Sweet, delicious nectar of the gods. I I'm very pleased with that. People actually aren't that displeased. I approve of that. Let's go ahead and give them some support, though. Give them some happiness here. And increase their popular support to 75, which is a good number. That's a good number. What's our training like? Okay. I could draft, but I'm not going to. I'll just go ahead and train forces. One month will be good. Oh yeah, folks. We are rocking right now. We have so many more horses. Huzzah! Advice. The one who controls the great river rules the land. Pay attention to f flood control. Basically meaning floods can come out of the river and fuck your shit up. Don't underestimate their power. I think we're done in this city. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, end our turn. Aha! There you go. Ma Tang has advanced. What a prick. Ah, shit. That is unfortuitous. 
Wan Shu and Dongyi after, you know, they had a fight against each other earlier. And I guess my movements have precipitated them uh, forging an alliance with each other. Huzzah! Whew. We're back from searching. We don't have any troops here now, though. We don't, no. Uh, we need to fix that. Um, hmm. Draft. Not you. Draft. You will have to be the drafter. You go ahead and draft those. Draft some... Oh, shit. <laughs> draft some... Oh, shit. Move. Here. Move you two. We won't take any gold, or food, or soldiers. You will be the governor. I approve of that. City development. Cancel. Stop vesting your gold in there. Go there. We're a little frantic right now. I knew Ma Tang would make his move. So I'm not surprised. I kind of drained the city of any valuable resources, though, so I'm not too concerned. But if you move shit like soldiers, that could be unfortuitous. Especially since our new soldiers don't have anything in the way of training or skill or anything. So, let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to draft in this city. We're going to go ahead and have uh, Cal... Cal Rogman's going to draft. 55 soldiers. That works. Our supplies are great. Now we're going to give food to the people again. We'll do that. Now we are going to funnel troops back. Send. You will send the materials, Bobo. I think. I actually don't remember where, whether Send is really that safe. Um, I think bandits can waylay the supplies and whatnot. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. So I'm going to cancel out of this then. And I'm just going to have Bobo move just for a turn. Go ahead and send... Uh, 29 soldiers. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do at all. No, no, try again. I'll move some more of my, maybe not my gold. It's 100 gold pieces, but I want to move food there. I'll go ahead and do that. No, we won't move the prisoner. Bubba, though, relocate. That brings the soldiers in here to a good number. They don't have... Fantastic training, but it's not that terrible. They give me a base here just in case Ma Tang tries anything funny. You may argue that I should have dealt with him first. Nah. We need to expand towards the bigger, the bigger picture of China. Just like what he's trying to do. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and organize our developers here in this city. Some more. We need to put you two. No, we should reorganize everybody. Reorganization is fun! You two go there. You two go there. Get to work on the dam. Here's a thousand gold. Don't blow it all in coke and hookers. Like Bobo would. If I try to recruit Zurong, will I succeed? Okay. My lord has been looking far and wide for a talented warrior like you. I have nothing to give to the rebels. Go away and leave me alone. Rebels? What? Rebels? Bitch! Donkey's the rebel! He motherfucking usurped the Emperor's throne! In all but name! Don't fucking oh, rebels! Fucking show you rebels, asshole. So I have uh, our good old friend here train those guys for a month. Consult the oracles. We're not going to face Wan Shu. Shut up. You know nothing. The only thing you know is that you know nothing. Ah. Okay, you are done. You are training. You are done. You are done. You are done. Okay, everybody's had a move. That's good. In turn. <laughs> Okay, more advancement has been occurring. Troops have been moving on the on the Chinese front. 
a Chinese front, but we're in China. That makes sense. Okie dokie. Bobo, come back. That'll be fine. I will move. They are continuing to support that. I should be able to vassalize you. Ruler. Delegate. Delegate. City. All vassal cities will be placed under delegated city control. Do I sure I want to do that? Yeah. Go ahead and uh, do what you want to do. I don't want to deal with you anymore. I don't care if I'm still in a precarious position. You handle what you want to handle. You train what you want to train. Do what you want, dude. I will send you more officers when I can as the situation makes itself apparent and clear to me. You got it? Good. We can draft more officers. We have enough food to make that excusable, I think. Let's do that. Go, Calrog man. Recruit more soldiers for elite liberal justice. My training's gone in the shitter now. I will trust you to give to food to the people. Because you asked. Even though I really didn't want you to give food to the people, you asked. Now I'll have my daughter give food to the people. That'll be a good number. Have a good va. You all will train the soldiers for one month. And then next turn, I'll put Bobo and Arashi Tayama and probably Calrog Man to work training further. We're good for this turn, I do believe. Unless there's uh, somebody still around here. Nah. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and intern. Popular Revolt! A Typhoon! Oh noes! Well, it's happy not to see that we didn't get engulfed by a revolt this time. I'm happy about that. Woohoo! Good times, folks. Good times. I think I'll go ahead and go until... Hmm. Maybe I'll play until the fall. Yeah, that'll be a good time to quit. We don't have much to do anyway. Instead, we will uh, set you three to training. You will train for... Three months will be good. And we'll see what kind of progress we make there. What do we stand to lose and gain here? Alright, we'll gain far more food than we lose. We'll definitely gain a good amount of gold in December. For those of you who may have been confused, by the way, yeah, you gain food at the start of fall and uh, gold at the start of winter. And now you know. Uh, what else did I want to do? I'm not sure. Staff, recruit. St. Lou? Let's try to recruit you then. Okay. If you say you can do it, even though you're my civic civil officer, so I think you may be a little biased. Okay, buddy. I'm counting on you. My lord has been looking for a wife, a talented warrior like you. I accept. I will do what I can to the best of my ability. You look like a proper companion to Happy Cat. <laughs> Good job. You didn't let me down. You weren't an absolute, utter fail train. For that, I applaud you. Let's give that guy money. Yay, money! Alrighty. What else do I want to do? Uh. Well, wait, since we have a new guy there now, right, but I'm going to relocate him, so it doesn't matter. We won't mess with that, then. Um... Maybe I could try recruiting again. Maybe we could get Zhu wrong. Preview of courtesy and they will follow you. <laughs> that that seems pretty ambiguous there, buddy. We'll go ahead and give it a shot. Why not? Yeah, yeah, I tried, okay? I tried. The longer he stays in prison, the, the more his will will break, and hopefully we shall be able to achieve success. I'll leave Master Reaper, uh, Happy Cat. I guess I'll leave him to do nothing for this turn, unless I want to decide to buy food, which I don't think I will. I don't think that's a good decision. Apparently it is. I'm, I'm just gonna go with that, then. <laughs> Whatever you say, advisor, buddy. I want to buy 4,000 provisions of views. Okay. 
So, we didn't lose that much gold. Ah, I see. I get it now. I, yeah, I understood that. Okay. We have lots more food then, because, you know, we really didn't need that much gold on hand. Matter of fact, we will go ahead and invest a thousand more gold back into these things. We'll still have gold to spare you, buddy. <laughs> Everybody. It should tide us over until December. I hope. <laughs> I pray. <laughs> Let's go ahead and end this turn, then. Okay, more alliances. More things that were kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and relocate. You. You're not going to take anything with you. No matter how much you want to take things with you, you're not going to take... No. I don't want to take the prisoner. There we go. Glad we solved that mystery, everybody. Good chat. i got to stop saying that. It's not very original. Okay. Yes, yes. Aha. If I move over to you, I should be able to... Re Aha. One moment, everybody. If I regain control of the city... I should now be able to reward you. Yes. Have more money. Now you can have control of the city again. I don't want to deal with that. No. Delegate. Go ahead and just... There we go. That'll work. Whee! What are we going to do, Happy Cat? What are we going to do, Happy Cat? What are we going to do? I think we will just uh, sit out for a little bit. Unless I decide I want to try and build something. I guess I could. You will be in charge of building... I could build autocross bows. You could build 120 of them? Hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what we wouldn't be doing with him for the next 10 months. Dear Lord in heaven. I'll wait for my tech rate to increase. I don't want to commit... You know, all that gold stars forbid. I guess I'll go ahead and send these guys out to... I guess I'll send them... Well, I won't send them anywhere. Let me check to make sure exactly what you're good at. Okay. So, if I send somebody out to spy... You. If you spied on this territory... For six months... I don't want to see your ass for six months, buddy. And then we played with a potato sack. I'm not going to give a gift to anybody. Those two are allied. Yeah. Hmm, Snoop. Hmm. We have it. We have a turn to kill. Why not? Damn. Found our spy, that's right, we sent ourselves to try and learn more about mysterious, mystical, damn technology. We didn't know that much about the city because we weren't spying on the region. Because it doesn't count until next month, so it didn't really succeed that well. And I guess I'll keep, uh, I have somebody else who's not doing anything. Maybe I'll try to recruit. Go for it. Damn it. Yeah, I figure I'd just go ahead and burn through that turn, why not? Oh! <gasps> Not rumors. Batang! That's right. That thing popped up during his turn, so I know that it was him who was responsible for sending it all. Mm hmm. Grimmith is unamused by this turn of events. Ruler. Delegate. Regain control. He's trying to break my will. Staff reward by lowering the morale of one of my officers, which is most, most unfortuitous. Delegate City. Am I breezing through this too fast? Are you guys not able to follow along with what I'm doing? It's probably because I'm hugging the fast forward key like I usually do in this game. Okay. So now I should have all the information I need to about the city. Like the fact that. Okay, okay. <laughs> he relocated. <laughs> All right, that's nice. He relocated everybody. That's good. That's definitely good. Lubu doesn't have that high loyalty. 
Some of those guys really don't have that good loyalty. I'm power oh, the, the city's at full spirit. There's not that many soldiers. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not gonna attack anyway. My soldiers are busy training. But that is certainly an interesting development. What are the soldiers here? Yeah, lots of people living there, folks. Yeah, he's got a lot of soldiers there. And I can't see into that one. Since I'm spying on everything, I should be able to look at what you have here. Okay, 99 soldiers could be a bit of a problem. Okay. But we're not going to be concerned too much about it. Look at the spirit of those people. Damn. They are unamused. How many officers do you have there? Just uh, your ruler? That's his stats, by the way. He's pretty good. And he's got a fake great lightning? Okay. Yinmo's not that bad either. What about him here? You've got lots of people in there. Population is 81,000. Population here is 99,000. Okay. I can cope with that. Now I'm gonna... I know I have some free uh, turns, thingies to use, I guess. Sure, I'll trust you to give food. Go ahead and give a thousand food. I have two people left. I'll keep them spare. I won't give them jobs. Who knows? Their aid may be required to do something important for me. Like save the world. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Maybe, though, maybe I will try to recruit you again. Okay, try again. Yeah, you did it! I applaud your efforts. I will uh, reward your your decision to cave to me by giving you money. You know they do fix this. <laughs> you can't just give money to everyone whenever you please all the time. Not in every Romance of the Three Kingdoms game. It's very handy, but you know. Whenever you have so much money laying around, it's not that big of a deal. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and end this turn. Yeah. People are revolting! A plague is breaking out! Damn it! Fucking plague! Ah, fucking plague! Breaking out nanding! That is not good. But I will save, uh, I, I guess I'll just end that one then. Alright, folks. But yeah, that concludes this episode. Uh, let's get on with it, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Uh, join me next time. When we can continue to consolidate the power of Chang An. Continue to train our soldiers. Maybe recruit that free officer, whoever it is. Uh, reinforce An Ding. Hopefully the play didn't cause too much destruction and chaos. And yeah, continue to kick ass. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. I will see you all next time.